course to steer. Course to steer. If we know what the set and drift are, then we can steer a course that's going to take those into consideration that's go and work our set and drift to our advantage. So for the sake of this discussion, we're going to make an assumption that we have a course of 0, 050 0 degrees true. Our speed for the vessel is going to be at 5 knots. We, we're going to know that the set of the current is going to be at 120 degrees true. And the drift of the current is going to be at 8 tenths of a knot, 0.8. And the question is, what course could we steer to make good our course of 50 degrees true? A few steps. Step one, draw onto the compass rows, any compass rows on your chart, a course from the center of the compass rows through the course that you want to make good, 50 degrees. Step two, we take the speed and we hold it. We don't use it yet. We save the speed to the end. We then take the set, which we said was 120 degrees, and from the center of the compass rows, we draw our dotted line through 120 degrees. Next step. Our drift is 0.8. Because it's a course to steer, we can base everything on an hour. 0.8, a speed of 0.8 would be 8 tenths of a mile is how far we would be moved along by the current. On the side of the compass rows, we get 0.8. We then take the dividers, we put the pointed end in the center of the compass rows, and we make a mark on our set line at point 0.8. The next thing we have is our speed. Our speed is 5 knots. We get 5 knots on our dividers. 5 knots is 5 miles in 1 hour. 5 miles. And because set and drift have affected our vessel, we're going to put the pointed end of the dividers onto the mark we made on the set and drift line. We're going to put the other end of the dividers on the course that we intend to make, and we're going to put a mark. We now have two marks we've created, one on the set line, one on the course line. We're going to connect those marks, and I like to do that with a longer dotted line. And then we're on the compass rows, and with those marks, we're going to just merely move to the center of the compass rows, and mark on the outer ring in the direction that we're headed through the outer ring. And we're gonna find that our course to steer would be 41 degrees. So our course to steer would be 0, 041 degrees true. That's the course we would steer in order to allow for the set and drift so that after an hour's running time, the set and drift, the course, would bring us back on course. The speed that we would make good, again, start at the center of the compass rows because that's where the vessel is, and move out to the course line that we intend to make good. Take that to the side, measure that distance. We find that that distance to be 5.2. So our speed made good would be 5.2 knots. Since we're basing everything on an hour, we would travel 5.2 miles. 5.2 miles would convert to 5.2 knots. We've picked up two tenths of a knot in speed based on the set and drift of the current. If there were a leeway caused by a wind, and the wind were a northerly wind, blowing in this direction of two degrees, we would then take our course that we're going to steer and steer into the wind two degrees to compensate for that. We just count back two, and that would bring us to zero, three, nine degrees, which is the course we would steer so that we would compensate. The wind would, we would be steering into the wind, the wind and the set would be blowing us back onto course. Course to steer. Mm-hmm.